Welcome back guys, with summertime here in Canada, I thought I'd share my ultimate FPV ground station kit. Well, it's ultimate for me anyway. I've got this thing laid out just the way I want, with all the components that I want, and I thought it might inspire others to create their own ground station just right for them. I most commonly use this ground station for fixed wing aircraft when I'm flying my Versa or my EPP FPV, but I've recently just started with quadcopters and it works perfectly for those. Inside the case, these are all the components that I've got laid out in here. Let's take a look. The basics are the case is just an aluminum tool case for my local Canadian tire that I added a sealed lead acid battery and the wiring all runs underneath with a fuse. I think I've got a 20 amp in there just in case something goes wrong. It all runs through a voltage and current sensing uh, display so I can monitor eh, just the voltage level mainly. On the right hand side here. I keep my Mobius cameras and a spare transmitter battery as well as the battery for my fat sharks. Underneath it, I keep uh, tripods for the Mobiuses, lens wipes, spare antennas, all kinds of stuff jammed down in there. The guts of the unit actually are this RC832 receiver unit. This has some Velcro on the back of it that I can just stick to the back side of the case. And it displays out on this TFT color monitor. These are just from Amazon. This is not a non-blue screen model. It is just a cheap one, but I'll show you how I get around it. Down in the front corner here, plumbed into it, is a Hobby King DVR. It constantly records, anytime it powers up, it records automatically what's being sent down. So I have a constant display, which is really, really handy in the event of a crash. You can go back and review the footage using the remote control. You can just go back through the files and play back your flight and see where you went down. Works fantastic, as well as I use those on the YouTube channel later. In front of the display, I store a cheap AM FM, also short wave radio. These things last forever on AA batteries. It's really handy to have some tunes and you don't have to run your phone dead. In front of that, I keep these. These are cheap FPV downlink monitors that come with uh, the Chinese quads, such as the Alien X250 that I got recently. I keep these, they have their own onboard battery, just a dipole antenna that comes with it, and you can hand these out to people around. They can watch on the ground station if they want, but it's really handy if you just hand this to someone and say, hey, if you want to see what I'm seeing, you can just watch here. Two of them, even better. Three, best yet. Be an ambassador for the hobby. Show other people what's going on, what you're doing. Take the mystery out of it. These things cost next to nothing now. You don't need to get a really fancy one. Uh, if you're lucky like me and you can get these from the leftover quad kits, you're all set. My main flying view is actually done through these. This is the Fat Shark Teleporter V3s. And I just have a normal mushroom style antenna in there. Not the best goggles, but they're so expensive I just can't bear to upgrade just yet. Works fantastic, and if you really want it, you can fly from the display. Speaking of that, I forgot to mention, this is fully removable and lots of cable here so you can go ahead and take this out and set it up on the picnic table or wherever is more handy for people to view depending on where the case is you always want to make it so others can see because you're flying anyway and this is running mainly for my flight recording might as well make it accessible for other people in the front corner i keep my gopros i use these old hero 2s on my versa wing particularly because they're nice and heavy and give lots of nose weight. And uh, they're just handy. I've got them. Why not? The video quality isn't the best compared to today's stuff. But underneath them, I keep the charge cable for these displays. It's just USB. Keep them charged up. I also have an adapter that I can plug into the receiver and plug right into Fat Sharks or whatever other equipment from the video out. Uh, handy if somebody else wants to plug their goggles in or if I decided to plug my goggles right in to this receiver for whatever reason. Other patch cables and other goodies down there. 
Overall, the layout isn't finalized yet, hence that I've I've kept the foam for now until I do like an acrylic permanent system, uh, really nice and have the switch mounted and stuff. But it's it's a work in progress. Overall, I'm super happy with the system. Anytime I want to replay a flight footage, just grab the remote out and tell the DVR what file I want to watch, and I can watch it on the display. Uh, really, really loving this setup. It's all modular. It's self-contained. I know where everything is. Grab it, and I go. And when I come home to charge batteries, I know where my Mobiuses are at and the GoPros charge the batteries here as well as my flight packs the lipos and i'm good to go again i hope this inspires someone else to create their own ground station and customize it for themselves it's a i'm a big fan of having everything in a, a place where you can find it and this works for me cheers guys have a great week